How can you use maths problems to stabilize a lucid dream or make a lucid dream last longer? Now in this video, I wanna explain how you can do that and how to prolong a lucid dream and actually lucid dream for a longer period of time. Most of you are familiar with the fact that if you're a beginner at least, when you first have a lucid dream or the first few times, it doesn't last very long. So there's actually a very simple way you can make it longer. And that is to do maths problems. Now, I don't just mean any maths problems. What I mean is, here are the steps to do this. Number one, you actually get lucid using whatever technique you want. Okay, the 90 aisled technique, the, the dialed or the mild. And there are links to these uh, tutorials in my channel, by the way, if you wanna learn how to do them. And number two, when you're actually already lucid and you've done a reality check, let's say, you will very quickly realize, hold on a second, okay, this is a lucid dream, I'm dreaming now, and you look around and you decide, you know, what you want to do and everything like that. And at some point you will start to think, this isn't gonna last very long. You have this kind of awareness that the dream, the lucid dream you're in is going to fade and you're gonna wake up pretty soon. So the first thing you should do is a reality check. And my favorite one, as I said, is the finger palm push where you know you try and push your finger through your palm and in a dream, it will go through. But in reality, of course, your finger will never go through your palm unless you're really, really strong, okay? So do the reality check you want to do and then do a math problem. Now, it can be any math problem as long as it's difficult enough that you have to kind of think about it. You don't wanna do a problem like four plus four, but in your head, you wanna just think about something like 30 times four, okay? Or 65 divided by three. By the way, it doesn't matter if you actually work the problem out. What matters is that by doing the math problem, by thinking about it, you engage the part of your brain that is responsible for lucid dreaming. You become more self-aware and the dream lasts longer. Now, this is a really powerful tip that I've learned, which is really gonna help you to make your lucid dreams last longer. There are a few other stabilization techniques, but to be honest, the math one is quite a good one. Just if you haven't been able to lucid dream for very long, if it's been something you struggle with, the maths problem challenge is gonna be quite useful for stabilizing your lucid dreams. Now, that's how it works. There are a few others you can use, like for example, or you can try rubbing your hands together. That's always a good one. That makes your lucid dreams last a bit longer, but it's not really based in any kind of reasoning or science. There's no technique behind it. And really the only reason that the rubbing your hands together thing works is kind of a placebo effect. You expect it to make your lucid dreams last longer because I or somebody else has told you that it will. But really the only reason that it does work is because you think it will. It's a placebo effect. However, the maths problem stabilization technique, you're actually activating a certain part of your brain that's responsible for lucid dreaming. So it's actually based on something that works. It's gonna be reliable. Whereas the rubbing your hands together technique, or if you spin around, for example, yes, they can work because of placebo effect, which is a powerful effect, by the way, but they're not reliable. The second you start doubting it, or you know, if, if you're not in the right frame of mind, it's not going to work. So that is why I would suggest to do the maths problem technique to stabilize your lucid dreams and just make them last a bit longer.